today, we will going to perform the determination of plastic limit and plasticity index. Plastic limit is defined as the minimum moisture content at which soil can be readily molded without breaking or crumbling. It indicates compressibility. It also related to permeability. The higher the plastic index, the lower the permeability and vice versa. The limit test and plasticity index are widely used to control the characteristic of soil which are to be incorporated in road base. And now, we will call on engineer Jonathan Calibara to discuss about the ASTM reference and the objective of this lab testing. So the standard reference used in laboratory testing is uh, ASTM D or 3D, no? Four three one eight. This is standard method for lifting limit, plastic limit, and plasticity index of soil. So at the end of this video, we would like to uh, determine the plastic limit of the soil samples for identification and classifications of dry soil. So knowing that the determination of these limits is also used to predict the shear strength and the sediments of soil. So these are the materials needed for the test. Spatula for mixing the soil sample, soil specimen, glass plate for rolling the soil into a tread, water, syringe to get the exact volume of water to be added, and moisture cans. So now we're going to perform the plastic limit test. The first thing you need to do is weigh a sample about 20 grams passing sieve number 40. Second, add a required water until the mass is plastic enough to be shaped into a ball. The third one is squeeze and form the 8 gram sample into a ball. Next is roll the balls of soil between the fingers and the glass plate with just sufficient pressure into thread of uniform diameter throughout its length. the diameter becomes 3.2 millimeter, break the thread into 6 to 8 pieces.
Squeeze the pieces together between the thumbs and finger into a uniform mass and re-roll. Continue the alternate rolling to a thread of 3.2 mm until the thread crumbles and the soil can no longer be rolled into a thread. Take some of the crumbled salt and place in a drying can. Weigh the container and the thread and record the mass. Twenty-four hours later.